Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. How are you people? Fine. Fine. You all look so sleepy. What have you all been doing over the weekend? Study. Doing assignment? Alright. Now, do you still remember a question of dowry? Okay. So now, this week, okay, we are going to look at a question of dowry. So this morning, I will show you a short video, alright, which relates about dowry. I would like you to view this and then later, okay, as you view, jot down points, okay, on points on what you feel about dowry. Do you agree, okay, on giving dowry for marriage or you think man, uh, dowry is burdensome for marriage, right? It's something which is troublesome okay, for marriage. So later, after you have finished viewing, I would like you to write, to give your opinion regarding your view on dowry. Do you feel dowry is a must in marriage? Okay? And then based on your idea, I would like you to quote the Okay, the seeds from the story, a question of dowry. You can say, I disagree. As you can see in paragraph 3, line 2, Mr. Ramachandran quarreled with Mrs. Ramachandran due to dowry. Okay, so you can say, dowry creates, okay, problem in society. Alright, okay, so it's up to you. So before that, let us view, okay, and enjoy what we see. Ready? Yes or no? Yes. And uh, twenty 
thousand rupees. My brother's life, after all, my sons are fine young men. She has a lot in the city. Did the people? Yes, you crazy. But where would I get this money? I would have to sell everything. If you can't pay the dowry, how can we have a wedding? Oh, there are other families who are infinite. So crazy. Show me too. When I was young, things were different. <sighs> These days it's become the practice to give such a big dowry. Is it necessary to give dowry? No, not really. But it's just that it has become very common. When I grew up and get married, I will ask for a dowry. <laughs> Bravo, Raju. I'm proud of you. Let's hope we find someone like you to marry Nina. Father? I don't want my mind to give a dowry for me. You're right, Mina. If everyone refuses to give and take dowry, then we can change the practice. So everyone must say no to dowry. <laughs> Go and tell that to the shopkeeper and his brother. has made dowry illegal. Shhh! Yes, I don't. But these people don't know the law. So we can demand what we like. <laughs> Stupid man. Why should anyone give you the dowry? <laughs> and since these people are so naive, we can always demand more dowry after the wedding. Yes, we demand the bicycle now and a motorbike later. Like the head of the village, like to come home. 
So these greedy people not only make a huge dowry demand, but they also plan to extort more after the wedding. We've decided to throw them out when they come tomorrow. I hear they have been going from house to house asking about eligible girls. And they are only interested in the dowry. We must reject these greedy people. Yes. And all our village should do so. No. It's a thing for law to give or receive a dowry. I didn't know that. But that's great. But usually when a good boy comes along, it's difficult to refuse to give a dowry. And people like to give a dowry for their daughter. That's the whole point. Shouldn't we reject the practice altogether? Yes, I think we have to. I also feel like that. The parrot speaks good sense. I don't like the idea of being bought as a bridegroom. I certainly won't accept dowry when I marry. Neither will I. And I don't want my parents to give a dowry for me. Probably. Every boy and girl should act like you. Right. Our whole community should decide not to give or take dowry. <laughs> <laughs>
Now, I would like you to brainstorm. When you brainstorm, you write everything on paper. Okay? Uh, you have a blank page, right? Okay? Next to page 4 of a question of dowry. You can brainstorm anything that comes to mind based on your viewing just now. What words did you remember from your viewing just now? Can you tell me out loud? Say no to dowry. Say no to dowry. Okay, good. Anything else? Just write. Discussion with Discussion with Kate Village. Yes. Okay. 
Okay? What do you see? What is the role of male and female in a relationship? Who should take charge? Male. Male. Girls? Do you agree? Yes. Okay? In the Malay culture, what is the practice? The male has to present the female the dowry. Okay? Or the bride has to present the bridegroom the okay? dowry. Okay? So now, I would like you to take out a piece of paper and write down. Okay? Okay? What is your view on the practice of dowry? Okay? Have you encountered this word before? Boys and girls? Right groom is the man on the day of the wedding. Okay, you have pengantin the lucky and pengantin perempuan. So right groom is the male. Alright, a groom, G R O O M, is the female. Okay, so you have to know. Okay, just complete the last line you are writing. Okay, just complete the last line that you are writing. It's okay, wherever you are, just complete the last line and stop. Okay, can I have anyone to volunteer to read his paragraph aloud? Anyone? Can I try? Okay, good. To ease, E-A-S-E. Easy, E-A-S-Y. Easy, so now. Okay, to ease something, to ease what? Yes. Sorry, what's your name again? I'm Rick. Is not It's not practical anymore.
present her with a reasonable dowry. But he mentioned that a meeting should be held to discuss. Normally, when do we do that in the Malay culture? We do that during which occasion? Engagement. During the engagement. So you discuss about how much you can afford to pay as a dowry. Okay? Good. Now, next. When you have okay, a short story, okay, you are asked to give example. You have the ideas. Now you have the ideas. You agree and some of you disagree. When I ask you to relate to the short story, a question of dowry, you have to give me an example. If you say that okay, a dowry can destroy a relationship, okay, where in this story can you give an example to me? The relationship between who? Based on the short story that we have read. Who quarreled because of dowry in this story? Hmm? Who quarreled? Who got into a fight just because of the dowry? The bride's family, good. Okay, the bride's family, Mr. and Mrs. Ramachandra. So you can quote based on okay, paragraph three, line four, for instance. Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Ramachandra quarrel because of dowry. Okay, so you have to give example. Okay, how about the daughter? Is she happy to be engaged to Tiru Shelva? No. All right. You can also say that. Okay, arranged marriage okay, leads to unhappiness. Right? And then you are forced to get married to someone who you do not know or you do not have feelings. Okay? So in your assessment, which will be given next week to you, okay, you are asked to give an opinion regarding the short story. And this is how you are going to do that. So, I would like you to open up your mind. You can think out of the box. You can give opinion from various angles, from various perspectives. You can agree and also disagree to a certain point. You can write one paragraph whereby you agree and another paragraph where you disagree. You can also do that. Okay? But most importantly, you should be able to quote example from the text to support your view. That's it. Are you all clear? Are you all clear? Alright. Write in simple sentences. As long as your message is there, it's fine. Do not write long sentences. Because the longer the sentence is, the more mistakes you tend to make. And you get confused on the subject. So stick to shorter sentences. And use simple present tense. Okay? Are you all clear? Yes. Right? So that's it for today. I will see you all again on Thursday. Alright? Okay? Any question before I dismiss you? Are you all clear about cat in the rain and the question of dowry? Yes or no? I suggest you go back, okay, Google, read up. Okay? If you Google, there will be many uh, videos or many uh, articles which you can read based on these two short stories. They will give you the interpretation of the story. If you read up, you will learn okay, about what is actually the two stories about. So it will help you later in your assessment. Okay? Alright. So if there is no question, I wish you a happy Monday and I will see you inshallah on Thursday. Okay? So be good. Thank you and assalamualaikum.